Hello friends, the FMG results are out and we have had some brilliant performances by some of our students right here with us from the team Cerebellum. First, I would congratulate Dr. Pavitra who secured an amazing 198 score. So she lived up to our mission 200, you know, target. And even more important, this was her first attempt. So we have this opportunity, those of you listening who may be giving the exam later, to see how she cracked the exam. FMG exams have become very tough. Students find it tough, clinical subjects also. So let us get some insight into how she managed to get it in the first go. So first, Dr. Pavitra, congratulations to you for this amazing performance. Thank you, sir. And uh, to begin with, I want to know, how did you prepare? When did you start preparing for this exam? Actually, I started my preparation in the last year. I okay. just focused on the main subjects because uh, we had this final exams in our uh, country. Right. So I was like uh, preparing only for the main subjects and uh, proper preparation was in the last five months, actually. So you feel five months are enough mainly to of proper if preparation? You're, yeah, if you're uh, really dedicated and you're ready to put your heart and soul, it's really enough, actually. Uh, how did you study? Like, uh, how did you go about the subjects? I uh, stuck uh, to the cerebrum, uh, I mean, cerebellum plan, actually. The mission? Uh, 200, mission 200 plus, yeah. So you were able to attend the classes live or you would watch the recordings or what did you do? I attended the classes live, every classes, actually. So you were able to attend class every evening and then you had time to study by yourself later also? Yeah, next day morning, I used to study the uh, chapters which were previously taught. And mm -hmm. then I uh, solved all the MCQs uh, related to the topic. So you, you feel that plan was a, a target that could be followed in the long run for the entire four or five months of your preparation? That That's more than enough, I'll say. Cerebellum plans are more than enough, actually. Okay. And uh, when you are preparing, is it that you are able to study all subjects comfortably? Uh, one of the subjects are like tricky for me, okay. but uh, usually the main subjects like surgery, ops, uh, medicine are really easy. Wonderful. So uh, when you gave the exam, let's see how your exam journey actually happened. So when you gave the exam, did you feel at some stage that, okay, it's not going well? And did you feel demotivated? Did something like this happen? Because it usually happens, you know, if you get a difficult site, students lose their focus and their morale breaks. Yeah, you like uh, after the first paper, I was like really disheartened. Okay. Actually. The pre then, uh, Yeah, that one. And then, so when you finished that first half, you were disheartened. Then, how did yeah. you to, you know, keep yourself motivated to continue in the second part? Yeah. But uh, next start, I mean, uh, next set, my mother told, like, uh, this is not the end. You have another uh, set right. also. So, right. Uh, go and do it well. She motivated right. me, actually. Right. Because, you know, uh, Dr. Pavitra students often just give up. If they have a bad set, then they are like, okay, I can't do it. And then even the second set goes. But you are a perfect example where first half was tough, but still, you, you know, you kept yourself motivated, kept yourself going. And then you were able to do very well. And we have the result over here. If I ask you a few advice or a few things that people who are junior to you who will be preparing, just a few things that you would want them to keep in mind when they prepare, what would that be? So mainly, I, will, I would say that uh, you have to focus on the MCQs, actually. Okay. Rather than study, uh, we have to solve as much MCQs as possible. Okay. But then, and then uh, I would uh, suggest them to uh, start their preparation uh, as early as possible because FMG is... Uh, Getting a little tougher year right. by year, actually. So you feel solving, or did you give, attend the ENDs and would you give the GTs also? Yes, I attended every GTs and uh, ENDs, actually. And that helped in your preparation? Yeah, really. Okay. And uh, do you feel that students tend to run too much behind the theory, 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 and notes, 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 they keep collecting notes, but in the end, they don't, you know, solve any MCQs at all. So what do you say about that? Like, I would say, like, uh, we have to dedicate, like, one or two hours per day on solving MCQs. Okay. Because that is the key, actually, to pass the exam. And any other tips you want to give to the students preparing? I would okay. say, uh, prepare uh, as much as early as possible. Right. That is the only thing I will say, my juniors. Yeah. Uh, because it's really tough, actually. Yeah. FMG is 
uh, exam is really tough Definitely. so i would uh, suggest them to prepare uh, early yeah so you know when we see people like you and we see the clarity of thought in the mind like you know pavitra here has said she was able to do the plan attend class and study and give a few hours of mcqs that's like the perfect preparation if you do that then definitely you will also crack that target of 200 in the fmg exam and pavitra i know the questions were tough but they have been coming tough only so i would just say people like you are really inspiring the students to come and targets despite difficult exams are very achievable so pavitra a big congratulations from all of Thank us you. to you and you have done great and what are your plans for the future so right now i have to get my intern and yeah. then I'll start preparing for NEET PG actually. Right. So if, if you keep doing the way you are preparing for NEET PG, then doing your speciality will all be as easy as it was for you. So thank you so much for your time, Pavitra. And all the best from all of us here at Team Cerebellum. We are all very proud. Uh, yes. Thank you for making surgery a cakewalk actually. No, see, it's all been your efforts. We are always going to help you. But... What I saw in you is you have worked hard. That's why you are where you are. So definitely working hard, nobody can take away from you. So all the best to you, Pavitra. Thank you.